Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about acid-base balance and pH, uh, which is a topic of biochemistry. And to get into the topic, let's talk about the very basic concept that is what is acid and what is base. What are acids? Acids are the substances that are capable of donating protons and bases are those that can accept the protons. So very simple. Acids are those that can donate proton, and bases are those that can accept proton. Okay, hydrogen ion or proton are present in all body compartment, but in a very small amount. And our, like if we talk about uh, our extracellular fluid, it is a very uh, small amount that is 0 0.0000000 equivalent per liter. Or we can also say 40 nano equivalent per liter. Okay, so this is a very small amount. And what is pH and what is pK? Uh, we will talk about pK later because it will be easier to understand later. Let's talk about pH. So pH is actually the negative log of uh, hydrogen ion. Okay, and what is the value of hydrogen ion? That is here. So if we talk, uh, if we talk about the negative log on the both sides, if we take the negative log of this value and calculate it, that is going to be 7.4. And the negative log of hydrogen ion is actually the power of hydrogen ion. And we can also write it like pH, power of hydrogen ion. We can also write it pH, and that is 7.4. Okay, uh, changing, uh, changes in pH means changes in proton or hydrogen ion concentration. For example, uh, if a solution having a pH of 7.4 and if we add 10 times uh, more protons to that solution, the pH will go down to 6.4. And if to the, uh, the same solution, if we remove proton from that solution, the pH will go down. Uh, for example, if we remove like 90% of the proton, uh, the pH will go up to, let's say, uh, 8.4. Okay, which means if to a solution we add acid, the pH will go down, okay? And if we add alkali or base, the pH will go up. So if we represent it through a scale, that is here 7 or 7.4. So if we add um, uh, acid to the solution, the pH will go down to the acidic side, okay? And if we add uh, alkali or base, the pH will go up to the base side, basic side. Okay, so it is a very simple uh, logic. If we add acid to a solution, the pH will go down. And if we add alkali to that solution, the pH will go up. Okay, uh, talking about acid, our cells produce acids all the time. Uh, every cell in our body produces carbonic acid like for example, the CO2 we have and water we have all the time in our body and they will react and they will produce carbonic acid. Uh, from amino acids breakdown, uh, for example, the um, uh, sulfur containing amino acid, they will produce sulfuric acid and catabolism of, phosph of phospholipids, they will produce uh, phosphoric acid and exercises, we produce lactic acid and uh, a lot of other conditions like in some diseases we also produce a lot of acid so if this much like so much uh, acid is being produced by ourselves in our body will it change the pH uh, of our body so what about the acid base balance in our body can it cause acidosis because our body has a lot of enzymes and all those enzymes only work at a specific pH of 7.4 so if we add this much uh, acid to our body and our cells, our, our extracellular fluid, will it change our pH or will it not? We will talk about that because if it does, you know, because uh, if the acid and base uh, are, um, balance is like disturbed, then the pH will be changed, usually, usually normally. And change in pH mean like uh, change in the proton concentration or hydrogen ion concentration and change in pH will result uh, enzyme structure will be altered you know it will also denature the enzyme which will not be able to work and <coughs> if enzyme is not working there will be no biochemical reaction 
and there that will be the last result okay so um because in a normal healthy human being or a person it does not usually happen because our body has a lot of system to deal with the acid base balance for example we have buffers and we have uh, respiratory system uh, to take care of acid base balance renal uh, but uh, we will talk about buffers here because respiratory and renal system are uh, the way they take care of the acid base balance we'll talk about that in physiology okay so what are buffers buffers are the solution which can resist which can resist changes uh, in ph when acid or alkali is added it act as a defense against the major fluctuation in ph uh, because if there is uh, some changes in ph that will immediately uh, uh, like produce their effect and try to you know uh, keep the balance of acid and base and changes in pH since changes in pH is only determined by the free protons okay it's only determined by the uh, determined by the free protons okay so if we add acid to a solution it will be captured by the component of this buffer system and the protons will not be free because pH is only determined by free protons so the proton will not be free and since uh, hence the pH will not be disturbed like the pH will still be the same adding alkali buffer molecules will release their proton uh, and convert it to you know a water because alkali usually have OH you know converted to water and it will still not affect our pH okay so what are buffers special system of molecules which has the capability to bind the proton or um, it can also release the proton or we can say molecules that can bind with the hydrogen ion reversibly okay how do they do that we will talk about it here <coughs> okay so this is the acidic and basic form of uh, buffers if too many uh, protons are added to a solution uh, to a solution which a which has buffer system it will be captured by the components of that buffer system or molecules of the buffer system <coughs> And the, t and the pH will be stabilized. Okay, too much protons are removed from the solution uh, which has the buffer system. The buffer system will release their own proton to maintain the pH. Okay, how do they do it? Uh, let's see it here. Okay, this is the solution. For example, maybe let's say our blood or any solution. And it has a buffer system. <coughs> and these are the components of buffer system. Okay, a lot of them... Uh, for example there is uh, we will just take like some you know okay so some of them they have their proton and some of them are free some of them are loaded with the proton some are the, some of them are free okay so if we add uh, let's say uh, acid to this solution <coughs> which has uh, a proton you know acid usually have this proton okay so it will be captured by this molecule which is unloaded okay and if we add uh, in this solution okay and if we add a uh, base to this solution which is OH okay this molecule will release its own proton and uh, which will react with this OH convert it to water so the pH will still be stable <coughs> okay this is how they do it uh, our um, buffer system has uh, molecules that are, some of them are free and some of them are loaded with a proton the ones that are free if OH uh, if uh, uh, HCl or any acid is added uh, they, it, they will capture that proton <coughs> and since the pH is only determined by the free proton so the one which are, which is captured that will have no effect on the pH and if we add OH to this solution which is base so and uh, this component of the buffer system will release its own proton and convert it to water it will not change the pH <coughs> okay Henderson uh, ha has a back equation okay this is pH is equal to uh, pK plus log of this um, um, free proton uh, free component of this buffer solution and uh, the one which is loaded with the proton <coughs> what is now pk is sorry <coughs> pk the pk is the ph value at which half of the molecules are loaded with the proton and half of them are unloaded the way the proton 
okay if a solution having uh, pk uh, pk of uh, let's say seven and uh, so okay it's seven okay when the ph is seven which means like it has uh, the component of buffer is like on this side thousands uh, which is uh, loaded with the proton and on this side thousand which is free which can uh, accept protons okay so this this is what uh, pk means a buffer is most effective when the ph is uh, near to uh, the pka the pk uh, which is equal or maybe the effective range of uh, a buffer is one ph unit higher or lower lower than the pk okay so if a buffer has a um, pk of seven and the ph is like let's say uh, ph is also uh, seven that will be the best buffer system uh, let's say ph is also like around uh, 6.9 6.8 maybe you know uh, um, 7.1 you know <coughs> somewhere there are uh, you know so the, the buffer will be at its best uh, effective um, uh, position okay this is all and if and this uh, this equation is also used to solve problems like if we know uh, two values uh, you know like we know the the value of pk and we also know the value of uh, this uh, this uh, uh, component of this uh, equation we can also find uh, find the ph uh, if we know the ph and the pk we can also find this value if we know uh, we know two of these well values we can find the third okay this is all for today and we can also represent it through a graph uh, but uh, I certainly do not do not have uh, to anything to draw it on this screen uh, but the thing is on the graph the one uh, which has buffer system the graph rep representation will be uh, like this okay and the one which doesn't have buffer system the graph representation will be straight okay okay for example <coughs> this is the basic uh, side and this is the acidic and this is the hydrogen ion concentration okay if we increase this uh, the one which doesn't have any buffer system it will directly go to the uh, basic side uh, the acidic side and if we decrease the proton concentration it will go to the basic side but the one the system which has buffer system if we increase it will not go immediately you know it will be keep going 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 unless all the uh, free protons are all the free molecules are loaded with the proton then it will start changing and if uh, uh, all the free uh, all the molecules that have donated all the protons this when it will go to the basic side Okay, this is all for today, and I hope you like the video, and if it is helpful, uh, helpful and you're still interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.